Seal Visual has been around for almost nine years now. I started with my partner, Leo Heda, uh, in 2015. Coming from Offset and Digital and getting into wide format and really finding a passion for it, I knew that what was out there was not good. And I knew that we could do it better. So every time we always look for the ultimate competitive advantage. What can we do better? How can we service our clients better? How can we install and print and manufacture more efficiently? I currently have in Focus Switch, I have Pitstop Pro, and I have Griffin. And then a lot of modules and different things. And it handles a lot of our workflow for a lot of different projects that we do. For the, for the stuff that we have implemented that we use daily, time and material savings have been tremendous. The time on these particular things that we were doing manually is cut in half. The other automated stuff as far as savings of material and nesting and, and everything that we need to do, how we have it set up, probably saves 25, 30% of material and probably another 30% in ink charges for those particular ones. But the idea is that it's eliminating human errors. So there's always things you have to check and you always want an eye on it. But all those silly things, when I first started this, I made a video, a Loom video for myself of the entire process start to finish. And me blasting through and going really fast with everything was 47 minutes. Um, now nobody else would be capable, of, it would probably be an hour and a half for anybody else. But I just, I know exactly what I'm doing, exactly. I wound up making two mistakes in it that I found once I completed, I went back, I'm like, oh, I didn't put a cut line on there or I didn't change that swatch, or I didn't offset that path, or I didn't delete that layer. But we had basics, didn't look great, but now between in focus workflow that we implemented and some other custom coding and, and sourcing and, and different proprietary softwares that we've created, we've been able to combine those. And that one process that was 47 minutes for me or an hour and a half for anybody else, we have in as little as five minutes. And we do 20, 30, 40 of those a day at times. All right, so now it's enabled even somebody like me to work on things when I have to jump in, but I only worry about the important stuff now. Any repetitive task, and we have this conversation all the time. We're going through it right now, and it's a very simple 15 to 20 minute thing that we do to prep files. And we started breaking it out step by step, and I asked the department to give me a, a breakdown of it, and they gave me a five page list of all the things they have to do with it. And I said, okay, let's run through it. But if I go through that, that list wasn't comprehensive. So after, after everything, when you go file, save as, move to this window, move to this, it wound up being 50 pages. And I took it down to two within focus. So now I can hand somebody two pages that might know Illustrator or knows Illustrator and have some experience, but not familiar with vehicle wraps or wide format or our process. And they can now do that job based off of two pages instead of, and this is one small process, but now it's two pages instead of a 50 page process. So we're able to make that happen, so. And that's how we implement flows. We look at the repetitive tasks. What is the best use of, of our brains and, uh, and our time? And we'd rather prioritize people to work with more important features and make more important decisions, which empowers them to grow. Even if I spent double what was needed initially, will recoup the investment and probably already have in many ways uh, but the money part of it and you know the barrier of entry within financially and then the ROI associated with it I mean it, it's clear as day once you start seeing it work into your company you know it's like everything you, you look at it and say no it would take too long how would we do it how would we implement it but once you start doing it and figure it out you realize what it does it allows creatives to be creative it prevents mistakes, right? It makes people happier. The money end and the savings on ink and everything, that's just a byproduct. You know, but the lives that we're improving, the lives we're improving for ourselves through it, that's the reward. And that's the why.